Hello to whoever may be watching. <laughs> my name is Isabel and I'll be talking about my term paper for my class History 300B, which was historical writing, or it is, class hasn't ended yet. But I did my term paper on the court cases that led up to desegregation in the United States. I chose this topic primarily because I believe that education in the United States is a, an important asset to our future as well as the generations that are here with us right now. And I just find it hard sometimes to comprehend that at one point in our history that we had segregated schools where minorities couldn't go to school with white kids. And I did a general search at first, just researching, and as I continued on, I found three court cases that I found like mind-blowing that happened that took place in the 1930s so it was a few decades before Brown v Board of Education and what was interesting is they all argued that segregation despite being separate is not equal because it didn't allow or provide opportunities for minorities in the United States and the first court case, because I wrote them chronologically, for obviously, um, was Murray v. Pearson, and that was about a man, a black man, wanting to go to University of Maryland Law School because he wanted to pursue a career in law, being a lawyer, and he was denied admission because he's a black man, and the law school was only for white people, but the problem was that there was no law school for any minorities. So he obviously took that to court because it was not fair and it was a violation of his rights. And he won because it wasn't, it was separate, but it wasn't equal. And there was a similar case that also took place in Maryland, specifically Baltimore, Baltimore County. And it was about a young girl, um, the court case was called Williams v. Zimmerman, and the Williams family, they wanted to send their daughter to a high school, but it was an all-white school, and they tried to dance around not having to admit it was just because she was black, but they required, they made it a requirement for her to take entrance exams, even though that wasn't a requirement for all students and it was a public school so there shouldn't have been entrance exams because it's a public school and her father and their side represent um they argued that the schools for black children are overcrowded and there's not as many and this is the one of the only high schools in this county that she can go to and they were able to get the court to acknowledge that it wasn't right for them to have these requirements for her and not for everybody else and violating her rights and not allowing taxpayers to send their children to schools that they pay their taxes for. And then the last one I focused on was very, very similar to Murray v. Pearson. It has a longer title, so pardon me if I butcher it a little bit, it is State of Missouri Gaines v. Canada. Um, and like I said, it's very similar to Murray v. Pearson. It was a man wanting to pursue a career in law, being a lawyer, and they did not have a law school of, like that was for black people, and they only have one for white people. And so of course he took that to court and he quoted Murray v. Pearson from that because this took place after using the same argument which is valid that it's it's separate but it's still not equal they have the they should have the opportunities to pursue law and have that kind of career and the basis of their skin shouldn't be the reason that's stopping them so I don't have any I'm not really tech savvy for like visual effects or anything but I do have this old state um, United States puzzle that I had as a kid. So 
but these are all the states right here that had segregated schools. And as you can see, there's a common denominator in these states. But what I wanted to point out was two of these cases took place in Maryland. One was university level and one was high school level. But my point is that even though their the argument was the same, they were taking place at two different education levels. So it was a state issue. But when we focus on this last court case took place in Missouri. So it's also not just one state that's arguing for equality and op equal opportunities. It's also other states. So I can, I've only focused on three court, <laughs> I only for focused on three court cases, but I, I would bet that the, that there are other cases just like this one that were using the same argument as to why it's not equal or right to have segregated schools. It's prevent